All right, so I have this cute little palette right here. This is the Rusted Essence palette from Notoriously Morbid, and it's my first time actually trying this brand. So look how cute this was, and I was able to catch this on a pre-order, and it wasn't an extremely long pre-order, so I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and order it, and then mine kind of got backlogged because of materials. And then, you know, if you saw my Minka video, I had some packages that, like, abruptly went missing while I was out of town but I got them back so praise God but that was part of it and I was I was you know about to be really upset but <laughs> you know what we are trying a new brand today and I like trying new brands especially when the color stories are exciting so let's go ahead and get started with the video this is Ashley welcome on back to my channel so like I just mentioned we have the rustic with rusted essence palette and I just thought this was the cutest little palette ever palette retails for $24.99 and the color story is adorable it's just right it's not too much you know you got beautiful multi-chromes and the shade right here in the middle is what drew me to the palette but before I get started let me go ahead and introduce myself if you are new to this channel welcome and if you're only but goody welcome on back my name is Ashley I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup so that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup now, please just call me Ash or Ashley. Now, like I just mentioned, I was waiting for this little baby. I ordered this around September. The best way to navigate the site is actually to log in, make a profile so you can kind of track your orders. And then once my order was updated, I got a couple emails letting me know the status. And then I did have to kind of like just check in because I was like, hey, Everybody else got their palettes and I haven't gotten mine and I haven't had an update in a while. And you guys said you were sending out the first week of October, but we're closer to like the third and a half week of October. And they were like, okay, your stuff is about to be on the way. And once, you know, I got that particular update because of the products or the materials needed to formulate the eyeshadows, then I got my product pretty quickly. Now, this is a very small indie brand and I did not know they're in the Appalachia area of Virginia. So they said from the deep dark corners of Appalachia in Virginia. So no, West Virginia, they're in West Virginia, excuse me. Cause you know, Appalachia is very large. <laughs> so, but they're actually in West Virginia of Appalachia. And then they have a lot of like little FAQs, a lot of different things. If you want to know about their website, they do hand make their shadows. So sometimes they say their shadows can appear a little bit different than the photos and that they don't do anything basically like a private label. And if they were to do something like that, that they would kind of let you know and let you know the status. So I just thought that this was like the perfect little fall palette. It appears that the brand is vegan. I couldn't see anything about cruelty free, but they do have the vegan sign on the back. There's a sticker on the back of the palette, which is really nice. It has outlines the shades. It shows the order. It shows the shade names. Also have ingredients. And the palette is good for 12 months once you open it. And then on the front, there also is a sticker. There is a mirror to this palette. And I think initially when I saw the palette online and I saw it on Instagram, the shades were actually in square pants, but my palette is actually a round, so round square, it doesn't matter to me. But I think for this particular format, the round probably <laughs> looks better. And let's see, did it come with like a little box? Oh, it might have. I can't remember. I kind of threw it out. Sorry, guys. You know, that's me being a bad YouTuber. But let's go ahead and get started with a look. And of course, I want to let you know about my thoughts on the opposite side of the look. I actually only filmed one look today and I am going to include this palette in a palette rotation. I am currently filming that. I am bringing that series back because... It was just a lot going on and I like to show you guys what I'm still using, what I'm using in between that's new and old. And I was just like, I got a lot to do today, but I want to film this. So got this beautiful look here. So I'm going to show you how I achieved it. And then we're going to wrap up with some final thoughts. You already know the drill if you've been here before. I am using my Holy Grail products for my brows. I have my Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Pencil in the shade 3.75. Then I have my favorite eye eyeshadow brace which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, me said and tell the girl, my life be like yo. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut. 
the fish in your hand and there So can stow her by my side, oh why? So to tear up for the four me or the for the baby For them here yardies, yardies De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger all min tid och Jag vill ha det, ha det Nu får mig känna safety Ni kan nog le det baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig Kommer aldrig känna så här för någon annan än Varje gång jag bak på dig, jag tänker åh vilket kap jag har gjort Jag skulle gå tillbaks i tid, göra om allt igen och Förstå, förstå, förstå Ser det som ett allt är det jag vill wajfa De här jadis, jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger all min tid och Jag vill ha det, ha det Du får mig känna safety Jag kan nog le det baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig Kommer aldrig känna så här för någon annan än dig Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig Kommer aldrig känna så här för någon annan än dig Jag vet det bara life om jag gärna Jag vet det bara ta din grej Jag vet det bara life om jag gärna Stay with me All right, I'm back, and this look is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, my mic is so sensitive, so hopefully you don't hear all the sirens going on outside. I'm like, I need to check Twitter, spot news on Twitter. He he tweets out the police scanner or citizen. It's it's a lot of sirens. Like, what the heck is happening? Jesus. So, <laughs> hope they are right. <sighs> so, this look is gorgeous. I'm so excited about it. It's really, really pretty. And the shade that drew me into the palette, I feel like it's stunning. And that's everything you want when you purchase a palette. And you're like, this is the shade right here that drew me in. So, let me run down my face details real quick. So, today I opted to go with my Pat McGrath foundation. And that is in the shade Medium Deep 22. You know, I love this stuff. This is actually my second bottle of it. And I also paired it with the primer. And then for the bronzer, oh, I switched it up to my other bay, okay? So this is the Gucci bronzer in the shade 04. And ha-ha, she got pan too, okay? Y'all only have like two, three, I have like two main bronzers. And then like a third one. Two or four, okay. Okay, all right, I'll be right back. I, I, I just got to know what the heck is happening outside. All right, so my inquiring mind has figured out. I'm like, because it was just so many sirens. I live right by the firehouse, a block over, and I'm just like, no, it's too many. It's got, it's, it's more trucks than what's over there. You know, they got the two main engines and then the EMS, but I'm like, literally three separate events. So crazy a vehicle collision a few blocks away from my house that way then an incident that way a few blocks over and then an incident across the street it's a lot going on i'm gonna stay inside the house okay um you have to be safe out here it, it is just real in these streets people just don't have any regard for anybody's life but that is my side note i did not come here but i, I just I was just like, what is going on outside? And I didn't feel like going to the window. So I checked Citizen and, and it told me. Now, <laughs> um, let's see. For the I was talking about my Gucci bronzer and then like all the extra sirens started, <laughs> you know, confusing me. And then let's see what else. Oh, for my blush, I went in with Night Bloom. This one is so pretty. It's a duo. And I opted for the more purpley side of the duo instead of the red. And then for the highlighter, I took Venus Nectar and more of a kind of rose gold highlight. 
And for the lip, I've been so enjoying this particular formula. I think this shade is absolutely stunning. This is the Blend Bunny uh, Matte Lip Cream. It feels so comfortable and it comes with a very nice creamy lip liner as well. So this is the shade Dow Face. Okay, I mean y'all, sirens are still going. Okay, and my lashes are Ardell, let's see, they're Ardell 420. This is what they look like, because I'm not always good at showing my lashes. They're just, just a little something cute. And then to apply my lashes, I don't always usually talk about this, but I have, I've, I've done a video on this, actually. It's the Velour Lash and Go. I think they reformulated it, and, um, because I, and so this is a 3-in-1 magnetic eyeliner and lash adhesive. So the lashes I have on are not magnetic. They are just regular lashes. But now this one says they could do magnetic lashes. I do have a bunch of magnetic lashes. So I have to try it with that one time. I'm not sure how it's going to work with the magnetic lashes. Um... I feel like these hold the lashes pretty good, but sometimes not so much. My AOA glue, let's see. This glue is Bomb from Shop Miss A right here. But the other day when I was filming, what was I filming? Oh my gosh. When I was filming Minka, um, putting the lashes on and off, like that glue is so hard to get off at the end when you're washing your face, even when you're using like emollient things and micellar water and then you're going to scrub your face and it's like that glue did not want to come off and what happened that glue residue I think it started coming into my eyes so my eyes were like no girl I tried to use some lubricating eye drops and it was like B that was a bad mistake girl what was you doing that was a bad mistake <laughs> so yeah so I was like, uh huh. Let me let me get this out today. So the palette is really beautiful. I really love the color story. Of course, it's like the complete nice little false story. I have stuff that kind of resembles this in my collection, but I thought that it was still inherently unique. And I've been wanting to try notoriously morbid for a long period of time and just never gotten a chance to it. This stuff sells out super quick. They are a very small indie brand, and some of the things have been really great. Um, but some things it just hasn't cost me. So this was just like oh this is a cute fall palette it can kind of like freshen up my collection but this shade right here was really calling to me so I believe this is one of the exclusive multi-chromes that's in the collection now what I did notice about the multi-chrome collections this one is a little bit more flaky this one I don't know it's it's a little gritty it's a little dusty and a little gritty so if you guys notice I went ahead and used my NYX glitter glue which I usually use but when I swatched it prior to me filming you know, I was like oh it has a little gritty texture it didn't feel it didn't feel really rough, but it wasn't super silky smooth like it had a bunch of mica in it when you're compared to like maybe a Terra Moon shade. But I was just like, okay, I picked it up on my brush and instantly I noticed it was just like a lot of particles, you know, floating around. So I put the glitter glue down and then I was like, you know, I still need to go ahead and hit the spray with my uh, Mayron mixing medium and that really helped because I Still had a good significant amount of fallout, even though I did not pick up a lot. If you notice, I also had a nice amount of fallout with this particular shade. This shade was really powdery. powdery. It didn't lay very well over the green. So, I mean, I felt like I have a nice gradient, but the green definitely took over versus the purple. The orange was nice, but it is kind of fading. So the mattes, to me, they need a little help as far as stain powder. They're not hard to blend, but it's just hard for them to like just keep their off. Does that mean, does that make sense? Like these look nice, but I feel like here it's about to fade. Also, this purple right here, I definitely felt like I needed the glitter glue or the Mayron to help it stick. And then these right here definitely have a more silky uh, metallic texture versus the other ones where I don't feel like it's going to have an issue sticking. Um, you'll probably see this palette again in like a palette rotation because I just didn't have a lot of time to film and do three looks with this. But I feel like this is uniquely gorgeous. And the price is just right. It was $24. There's codes out there. I used uh, Beauty and Frizz's code. So it should be Frizz Face. I'll link her channel down below. She's definitely an affiliate with Morbidly, uh, Notoriously Morbid Cosmetics. And that's how they became on my radar. But I would definitely would try them again if another color story comes along that interests me. Um, you know, at the, this point, I've been like really picky because I just have so much makeup and so much eyeshadow. I'm looking for the things that are like just really 
you know, sparking that joy. And I really do love this look. This shade is really beautiful. I could see myself just reaching in this palette and really having fun with that shade. And for me, it, it's fine. And then I really enjoy the other orange shades. And I wish I had this in time. I would have actually taken this to homecoming with me because my colors are green and orange. I was hoping to have this in time, but I didn't. I actually took, um, what did I take? It took blends. I took the new blends bunny all done up. I took my Busy Art Dark Matte Edit Palette, and I took House of L from Adept. So it worked out nicely, but I really was looking forward to having this. But it, it works. It's, this shade right here is everything, and it's very gold. It's very opulent. It's very sparkly. It has a bit of neutralness in there to it. And then it's really playing well with, like, the greens and the oranges and the purples. So it's just it can just go every way and then layering it over the green so I'm really happy with it um yeah so so far so good I just feel like the mats just need a little help just just a little help okay um but other than that I'm I like the palette I, I would definitely try them again so leave me a comment down below in the dis not the description box but leave me a comment down below <laughs> Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. Don't you like how I've been back on the content? Yes, I have missed filming, especially over the summer. But um, subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chat dance. Chat dance. Hey, 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 chat Hey. 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 All right, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.